So in this video, I'm going to give you a walk around Shepton Mallet Antiques Fair. The indoor section, what you're looking at up there is the big car park. So you walk down here and we're going to take a walk into the indoor section and let's see what happens. Hello. I think I might do is I might go up there first, have a walk along the balcony so we can look down upon the main hall here. So this is the Sunday, the final day of the fair, around lunchtime. Very busy, it's been a constant flow of people. So let's go this way and get like a top shot of the fair. So what you'll find is on the the inside, as opposed to the outside pictures, of course, you're going to find the, the smaller pieces, the higher value items, things that go in, in cabinets, silver, pottery, porcelain, paintings, that kind of thing. So I'm just wondering how on earth do I get up there? I want to go up there and look down. So bear with me. This is completely unprepared. Let's see if we can find our way. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> People are very friendly. How do we get upstairs? Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Hi there, hi there. Yeah, Any idea how, how I, oh, do I get upstairs that way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. lovely. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers. No, really? Okay, well, I'll try not to. Okay, so um, hold on to your seats. You can hear the activity. Let's have a look. So stalls right along the balcony areas. And, then, and this is the shot I wanted to get actually. Isn't that fantastic? All that activity, all that buying and selling of fabulous items. It's amazing how much stock comes from all over, I think all over the world, certainly all over Europe, all to be amassed in this hall and outdoors and then to be picked over, bought and sold. It's amazing when you think about it, isn't it, really? Because this is medieval trading, isn't it? Hello. Hello. Yeah, it's, it's, people are buying and selling in exactly the same way as they've been doing for, well, thousands of years, in actual fact. Of course, a lot of the dealers down there will be online. They'll be using all the online platforms. In fact, Love Antiques is a very good platform owned by the organizers here, IACF. And so a lot of these dealers down here are dealing at the fairs across the UK. And then at home, they're on the Love Antiques website. So you'll have to have a look at that. Actually, I will put a link in the video description to that. So let's give you a little walk around here. It's such a good atmosphere. Right, now I need to try and find out how I get back down, but in an, another way. Can I get down another way? To make it more interesting. Okay, don't worry. Stick with me, I'm going to go back the way I know. Let me know if you see anything that you think is really gorgeous. And let me know if you've been to the Shepton Mallet Fair before. It's really warm outside, but luckily this building actually, it must have good ventilation because often on hot days, fairs like this on the indoors are absolutely torturous. But in actual fact, it's very cool. There's no air conditioning that I can see but there's lots of airflow coming around. So that's a real relief. Something good to know, actually, when you're visiting here in the summertime. Have a look at the IACF website. I'll put links in the uh, video description. And there you'll be able to know what fairs are on around Britain.
Right. Actually, it's made me hungry. Hello. Hello, hello. Well, nice to meet you too. Thank you. You don't mind appearing on my YouTube and Facebook, do you? Very good. Well, thank you. Are you set all the alarms off? No, 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 there. <laughs> Not this time. Not this time. Not right. this time, no. Are you done? Have you been buying? We have been out. buying. Yeah. We haven't quite finished yet. Oh, good. But you've had some lunch. We've had yes. some lunch. Yeah, yeah, lunch. So. Get your priorities right. Yes, well, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. more energy yeah. to Exactly. Carry on. Well, yes. good for you. Well, lovely to see you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. I'm going to go yeah. into the freight. You too. Good luck with your buying. Thank you. Bye-bye. People are always so, so friendly at these places, honestly. I mean... Genuinely, you could come here on your own and just have a wander around. And uh, you'll end up having coffees with people and it's, it's just really, really lovely, it really is. Okay, let's get our tea. Hello. Hello there. You don't mind me wandering by filming, do you? No, no, no. <laughs> hello, hello, hi there. So we've got gold and silver buyers. and lots of activity if only I often think when I come to places like this it would be brilliant to be invisible and just go and sit next to people who are having conversations because some of the conversations that go on here are just fabulous it, you know people watching is brilliant I love that but it's great to listen in on people's conversations as well and I, I don't know I don't know is that just me I don't know do you do you like doing that I think maybe it's just a human thing isn't it just general conversations and it's a big social thing a lot of the dealers of course know one another and and they camp overnight so you might have seen my videos earlier on previously where I, I showed me camping in my car actually it was absolutely brilliant I mean I am so over hotels it's unbelievable so any opportunity now to be able to do something a bit a bit different i mean i might get a camper van actually i'm seriously thinking about it but yeah so a lot of these dealers will camp overnight you see all the caravans and the and the the camper vans and the tents they really do make you know a, a lifestyle out of it so i hope this gives you an idea of what one of these iacf fairs look like I think there's a reason why they are the biggest fair organisers in Europe. They just do it genuinely really well. And dogs are always welcome. <laughs> so bring your dogs, bring your caravans, bring your money, bring your sun hat and just have a jolly good day out. <laughs>